We go to Long Island now with surprising new developments today in the Gilgo Beach murder investigation. Police were back at the home of accused serial killer Rex Heuerman. The police have recently gone back to the home of Rex Heuerman, the man suspected in the shocking Gilgo Beach murders. Heuerman was arrested last year and charged with killing four women. Their bodies were found on a beach in Long Island, New York. This new visit by the police has caught everyone's attention again, stirring up a lot of questions and concerns about the case. Join us as we look into what has happened in greater detail, and stay until the end to uncover all the intricate details that may or may not have stayed hidden until now. Rex Heuerman, a Manhattan architect and a married father of two, is at the heart of this major case. Heuerman isn't just any architect. He is the president of RH Consultants and Associates, a company he started in 1994. His adult daughter also works there, making it a family business. RH Consultants and Associates has worked with some big names. According to their website, they've done projects for Catholic Charities, NYC DP Sewerage Treatment, American Airlines, and other important clients at JFK International Airport. Knowing this makes the accusations against Heuerman even more surprising given his successful career and involvement in the community. The Gilgo Beach murder case began in May 2010 when Shannon Gilbert, a 24-year-old sex worker, disappeared after leaving a client's house near Gilgo Beach. She made a panicked 911 call, fearing for her life, but was never seen alive again. Gilbert's body was found in December 2011. While authorities say she drowned accidentally, an independent autopsy suggested she was strangled. During the search for Gilbert, police found another woman's remains nearby. In the following days, three more victims were discovered. Over the years, no one was charged and theories emerged about multiple killers. Last year, Suffolk Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison vowed to solve the case, launching a dedicated task force. Now, at least 11 victims' remains were found, many being sex workers. Melissa Bartholomew, Maureen Brainerd Barnes, Megan Waterman, and Amber Lynn Costello were among the first victims found in December 2010. Jessica Taylor's remains were found in 2011, and Valerie Mack was identified in 2020. Karen Vergata, known as Jane Doe 7, was identified in 2023. Other victims, including an Asian male and a female toddler, remain unidentified. Last year, police, alongside the FBI, intensified the investigation into the killings, leading to Rex Heuermann's arrest outside his office. Evidence, including cell phone data and disturbing internet searches, linked Heuermann to the murders. He was first suspected in 2022, after investigators found a vehicle registered to him possibly connected to a victim's disappearance. Law enforcement obtained burner phone records, implicating Heuermann in arranging meetings with victims before their disappearances. Further evidence, like a hair found on a victim and DNA from a discarded pizza box, strengthened the case. Heuermann's wife's absence during some murders raised questions about materials possibly originating from their home. He is also suspected in the murder of Maureen Brainard Barnes, but gaps in the investigation remain due to missing burner phone records. Brace yourselves because on Monday, May 20th, 2024, investigators went back to the home of Rex Heuermann, the man accused of killing four women whose remains were found around 14 years ago near Gilgo Beach, New York. New York State Police were spotted at Heuermann's old place in Massapequa Park, as shown in footage from NBC New York. Robert Macedonio, representing Heuermann's estranged wife, Asa Ellerup, confirmed the police presence, saying they were carrying out another search warrant at the couple's former home. It is important to note that Heuermann was arrested last July and charged with the deaths of four women, Maureen Brainard Barnes, Melissa Bartholomew, Megan Waterman, and Amber Lynn Costello. Their remains were discovered near Gilgo Beach in December 2010. As mentioned earlier, the discovery of these women's remains started a sad string of findings, with a total of 11 sets of remains discovered since 2010 across Suffolk and Nassau counties. However, Heuermann is only being charged in connection with these four deaths. Heuermann has been in custody since his arrest last July, maintaining his plea of not guilty. The investigation continues under the Gilgo Beach Homicide Task Force, overseen by the Suffolk County District Attorney's Office. While questions arose regarding the ongoing investigation, a spokesperson for District Attorney Ray Tierney 
emphasized their policy of not commenting on ongoing investigative steps. As Tierney has stated before, the task force remains committed to uncovering the truth behind these tragic homicides. The Gilgo Beach murder investigation keeps moving forward, revealing more about the heartbreaking events that affected so many. As the authorities keep working, there's still a lot we don't know. Now tell us, what do you think will happen next? Will the victims and their families get the justice they deserve? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more latest updates. Thank you for watching.